confused, worried, fear. These are types of emotions that you're typically going to feel as an entrepreneur or coach when your marketing just stops working and all of a sudden leads just aren't around anymore and you find it extremely difficult to go out there and not only get leads, but attract leads to you online for free. Hey there, my friend, it's Super Sid and I'm super excited to come to you today because like I said there in the beginning with those three words, there are typically things and emotions that entrepreneurs and coaches like you typically are going to feel when their marketing just stops working, right? When you go out there and all of a sudden just, you know, the leads stop getting attracted to you or you know you go out there and typically you're generating leads a certain way and then all of a sudden the leads just stop the people raising their hands just stop the people filling out the um, you know replying to the ads just stop or the people that are you know filling out the forms or going to the funnels or coming to the group or wherever it is just stops and you don't know exactly what's going on because you're you're putting you're doing everything you were doing before and you know it's the exact same formula you were using before but all of a sudden it's just not working anymore what is it that we need to do Listen, I completely understand how you feel. And believe me when I've told you, I've had multiple times in my life in the previous, you know, few years while I've been helping people with uh, building systems to attract leads to them online for free, ran into, oh no, like leads aren't coming in like they were, or oh no, people aren't saying they need their help as frequently as they were, or oh no. I am in an environment online or a, you know, a place online where people don't need my help. I need to get out of this environment and I need to go into another environment to where I can go and find people that can help me and I can go and meet and, and find and help and serve other people that are looking for the type of help that I need. Now, let me tell you exactly what it is that we found though when we, when we have losses. What we found is, is typically, typically there's going to be three things that we need to relook at, that we need to take a step back and say, hey, are these three things in order? Are they congruent? Are they working together when it comes to our marketing to make sure that our marketing is working and working properly to the people that we're looking to reach? I originally learned this framework through a guy named Dan Kennedy. And this framework that he claims is called the marketing triangle. And the way that it works is, is like a triangle, it has three sides. And those three sides each have a meaning and they all start with M. So the first M that you're going to run into when it comes to your marketing triangle is going to be what we call your message. And your message is ultimately going to be what it is that your message is going to be out into your marketplace. The second thing that we talk about when it comes to your marketing triangle is going to be what we call your marketplace or your audience, the people that we're putting stuff in front of. And the third place or the third uh, line or the third piece of this marketing triangle on the bottom is what we call our media, ultimately where we're putting our message and where our marketplace is ultimately at. So first, we wanna talk about our message. And what our message is, is ultimately the message that we're putting out to the internet, to the world, to the people. And what it is, is this message needs to align with the challenges, with the problems, with the things that our audience and our people and the people that we help need help with. It's the message that we need to put out there that they wanna hear. It's the message that we need to put out there that they constantly need help with. The, um, the content, the things, the challenges, the problems that they're running into that you can provide, that you can serve, that you can help, we need to make sure that that message is congruent with the people that we're wanting to help. The second part is what we call our marketplace, otherwise known as the audience that we're putting our message in front of, right? So we have our message and that message is ultimately what our content is, what it is that we're saying that, you know, our stuff is that, that we can put out there, the content that we can put out there that can help the people that need our help, right? The second part of this is what we call our marketplace or the audience that we're putting that message out too. So what this audience is, is ultimately going to be the people that is receiving this message from you, right? So you put this message, this is the people that are receiving this message. So what we want to make sure when it comes to our marketplace and our audience is that we're providing our message to what is classified as a target rich environment audience. What a target rich environment audience is, is an audience that would and could purchase or make a decision with us in the next 90 days after meeting us or knowing us online about what it is that our message is talking about or what it is that we can help or provide them with 
online. And the third side to this triangle, there on the bottom, connecting our message and our marketplace and audience is what we classify as our media. And what our media is, is ultimately the media, the place, the environment, online or wherever, that we're putting our message to our marketplace or our audience. So what that means is, is the media could be something like the internet. Or breaking it down even further, the media could be something like Facebook. Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram or YouTube or something along those lines that is the place that we are putting our message and providing that message to the marketplace that's then there on that media. So ultimately the media is going to be the delivery point, the delivery mechanism, the way, the place that the marketplace or the audience is going to be able to find your message online. So when your marketing stops working and when st leads stop coming in or when you stop being able to generate leads online or when you stop being able to attract leads to you online, usually it's going to break down into something within the marketing triangle. Again, the marketing triangle being your message uh, against your marketplace and your audience with that bottom piece there connecting it with your media. Now, again, what this doesn't mean that you always have to be online. What it means is, is that you need to be congruent with your message and your message needs to go to the people who are on said media so that you can meet with them where they're at and ultimately be able to help them, be able to serve them, and be able to go out there and ultimately find people who are raising their hands saying every single day that they need your help. So something that I want you to do when it comes to making sure that your marketing is not only working, but that it's working at the most efficient and at the best way that it possibly can, is I want to make sure that you are attracting leads to you online for free from all of the prospecting channels that you're able to so that you're able to go out there and be in front of your target audience, the people who need your help right now. So if you like this video, then you're absolutely going to love the free gift, my super online organic prospecting system, the system geared to help you build a system online so that you can start attracting leads to you online for free. There's a button here below, so just take action now, click on that button below, and go and grab your free gift of my super online organic prospecting system. I cannot wait to see you on the inside. And don't forget, we all win when we all win. Let's go out there and help somebody else win today. I promise you, it's gonna help you do the same. We'll talk soon. We all win when we all win.